Yo guys, what's going on? Zace is here today with another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about why players are scared to spend USD on the escape from Tarkov flea market. Guys, do me a favor, make sure you're dropping a like on this video here today. And of course, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We've been going crazy with the subs lately, man. We just hit 13k like a week ago. Now we're almost at 13.5. And that means sooner or later, we're going to be hitting 14. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, man. Love for you to be a part of it. Tips, tricks, money guides, gameplay, and more here and um yeah we are on a crazy train of subs right now so i really do appreciate all the support lately let's hop into it man um a lot of information in this one here today it's a little confusing there is going to be a little math involved as well everybody fucking hates math so stick with me on this one if you don't understand something or it's not making sense drop a comment down below or rewatch the video whatever works for you and hopefully somebody or myself can help you out so like i said a lot of numbers, a lot of conversion. The item we're going to be taking an example of here today is going to be M855. But first, we have to talk about USD. Now, one USD costs 107 rubles. Keep this number in mind. This is very important. So I want you to be very, very understanding in the fact that this number can change. So if you watch this video in the future and it's 114 rubles per USD, that is because USD, ruble, and euro are all connected on an algorithm just like Bitcoin in-game that the IRL price or value of the currency in real life, the dollar, the euro, and the Russian ruble all are connected on an algorithm. It might not be exact one for one to real life, but it is on an algorithm that represents it. So before you type in the comments six months from now that this is wrong, trust me, at the time I recorded it, everything is right. Now, let's hop into a tip for you guys that want to know prices on the fly. So you're on the flea market, you see an item you want, it costs 50 USD. You're like, how much is that in rubles? The next lowest price is 8,000 rubles. Should I just buy the 8,000 ruble one or should I buy the 50 USD one? It's very simple. If you want easy math, cut the seven out of the equation, make it a zero. It's going to be super easy for you guys to visualize once I tell you this, if you've never done it this way before. One ruble equals one cent. Visualize one USD in game as 100 cents, and it's really easy from there. One ruble is one cent. One dollar is 100 cents. One dollar is 100 rubles. And then you just tack on a little bit extra at the end. So if we look at any item here in Peacekeeper's inventory, um, we'll just take what do we got here that's fairly cheap. Um, this Weaver base right here, 18 USD. So we can just call this 1800 rubles, tack on a little bit at the end. So we'll call it 1900 rubles. So we had the 1800, put a little bit on there. What does that cost? 18 USD. It's going to cost us 1926 rubles. That's how you do it on the fly. It's really easy math. So hopefully that helps you guys out. If you need that in a pinch, when you see something on the flea market, that might be fairly cheap in USD. Next, we're going to be talking about M855. And we need to break down the quote-unquote discounts that happen in the escape from Tarkov trader screens for Peacekeeper and Mechanic. I threw Mechanic in there because he sells in euros for some items, and it does slightly apply to that. It's a little bit more confusing, so we're not going to talk about that today. But we are going to keep in mind the discount and or actual sense of Peacekeeper. So one round of M855 costs 2 USD. What does it actually cost? It says 2 USD, but is it 2 USD? If we go for 10 rounds... It should be 20, but it's not. And that's where sense comes into play. If we go to 100, you're going to see that the actual price in USD is $1.79. Now, you can get really in-depth, but that's when the math starts getting confusing. If you guys want to know how much exactly per ruble M855 is in 100 round counts, we can take this 179 USD, come down here to the dollars, do 179 it's going to cost you for 100 rounds of m855 19,153 rubles and like i said math fucking sucks so this is where this is where it gets kind of confusing when we talk about it like this but there is a sense on every single item in the game the game rounds up not down so hopefully that made sense so now that we've established two baselines we could go off of for m855 we have the two dollars around or we have a dollar 79 around for simple and easy math we are going to stick to two USD per round in the example once we go to the flea market because it's going to be easier to visualize the math that way. But keep in mind, it is going to be even cheaper than 214 rubles a round. Before we go to the flea market, two USD is 214 rubles. Two USD is 214 rubles. So hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully we're all on the same page. Let's head to the flea market. M855. We have a cheap listing at 333, and then we have 400, then 420. 400 
is pretty much the baseline. But two things are going to happen here. This guy is either going to be undercut again, because that's how the Escape from Tarkov flea market thrives, by undercutting, or he's going to be purchased, and they will be gone. And they're gone. So somebody just paid 333 rubles per round after we've already established the value of an M855 round. Now, there's going to be that one person that drops a comment saying, well, not everybody has Peacekeeper yet, dude. Not everybody has their task done and leveled up for Peacekeeper. Well... My counter argument to that comment and that person who wants to be a Giga Chad, you're fucking wrong. Because Peacekeeper at loyalty level 1 has M855. So now you have no excuse. You can buy USD and you can purchase M855 at loyalty level 1 and Peacekeeper is not trader locked like Jaeger behind a task. So you have absolutely no excuse to be buying M855 off of the flea market for any lower than 214 rubles around not putting in the cents discount on peacekeeper so now why is it people do this and this is a whole another story that we'll save for another video the euro thing complete ripoff man but let's head back into what we were talking about 333 rubles around why did somebody buy at that price and not buy from peacekeeper the simple answer is they don't know the conversion they are not educated in the flea market enough to the point where they understand that two usd is cheaper than 333 rubles that's why i'm making the video guys um you know it seems like yeah okay big whoop 100 rubles around but if you're doing this the entire wipe incorrectly burning all this extra money at the end of the wipe you might be down 10 mil because you were fucking up the entire wipe that's why I'm making the video, guys. People are scared to spend USD because they're not educated. They don't know. I'm trying to help you guys, and hopefully this video is making sense now that we've kind of came full circle back to the pricing. That guy bought... Somebody bought those rounds at three euros a piece, and they got absolutely ripped off. Um, not as bad. I mean, it's cheaper than 400 rubles, but still. Somebody just bought that one listing for 400. This is what I'm talking about, guys. Just because it's easier for you to visualize the ruble count because you think you have more rubles or whatever the fact of the matter is for you personally, it's simply not the case. M855 is a great round, don't get me wrong, but it's not 480 rubles great. Just because I go here and purchase 60 rounds for 25,140 rubles doesn't mean it's the best option for you. Let's go to uh, Peacekeeper. 60 rounds is 108 USD. All you have to do is type in 60, 108, come down to dollars, 108, boom. It's 11,556. It's so much cheaper. Guys, be more efficient in the flea market. Stop being scared to spend USD. Trust me. I've been doing this Tarkov thing for going on three years, and I've been abusing this motherfucking flea market before it went found in raid, I was the guy buying 400 light bulbs for 6k and then putting them up at 12k and doubling my money. I was that guy. I was running this flea market back then and I'm trying to educate every single one of you to abuse it and use it to your advantage to save money because all those rubles you save go into better kits, better gear, and more fun for you. A more enjoyable experience and making you a Chad. Guys, that's the video for today. Hopefully it made sense. Anything you're a little shaky on, drop it in the comments. Myself or somebody else who truly grasps and understands the concept can help you out. That's not a dig. It's a lot of information. It's confusing. Math fucking sucks. That's where we're going to leave this one off. Leave that like, subscribe, sponsors and equipment description below. It's going to be it for me, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I'm out.